Santana Moss, outstanding touchdown catch yesterday as the Redskins beat the Eagles. And now it's time for another rival, and it's time for Redskins historian Mike Richmond. He joins us each Monday. Cowboys, Redskins, Thanksgiving Day. Not a good history for the Redskins, is it? No, it hasn't been good for the Redskins at all. The Cowboys own a 6 nothing lead over us on Thanksgiving Day. But you have to go back to that the 1974 game against the Cowboys. That was the worst for us. Tell us why. Well, it was the Clint Longley game, the Mad Bomber. Yeah. This guy hadn't thrown a pass in his NFL career. Comes in for Roger Staubach, who was knocked out of the game, which was the Redskins' intention. Dyron Talbert said it before the game. All we have to do is knock out Staubach. And then we have that rookie coming in, Longley. And uh, he leads the uh, Cowboys to three TD drives, including that 50-yard pass to Drew Pearson at the end. Cowboys win 24-23. Not, not a good memory in Redskins history. Ouch. Now, there's a lot of reasons why this rivalry is so intense. I mean, George Allen gets a lot of the credit for fanning the flames, but you got to go back to hail to the Redskins. Tell us the story. I know a lot of people don't know what might have been the jump start of this rivalry. Right. Well, the rivalry actually began even before the Cowboys came into the league. They were trying to enter in 1960, and uh, the Redskins owner at the time, George Preston Marshall, did not want them in because he thought they would be stepping on his territory. The Redskins were the team of the South, and they played exhibition games as far west as Texas. Right. So he thought they would be uh, uh, stealing his fans. So I uh, didn't want them in. Now, the Cowboys were threatening to steal Hail to the Redskins, the rights to Hail to the Redskins. Uh, they collaborated with Barney Breeskin, who wrote the music to Hail to the Redskins. And, and they said to Marshall, either you let us into the league, or you're not going to be able to play your song. And yeah. Marshall acquiesced and let them in. And with that, you know, the rivalry was born, but maybe never as fierce as in that championship game. Redskins looking for a trip to the Super Bowl. Who could forget that New Year's Eve? Right, 26-3 Redskins. Such a memorable day in, in Redskins history. Uh, the Cowboys, they had, they had won the uh, Super Bowl the previous season, but we just had them that day. I mean, offense, defense, they couldn't do anything. And right, we went to Super Bowl seven. Also, the uh, 82 season, we beat them in the NFC Championship game that year. Dexter Manley tipping the pass and Daryl Grant running in for the TD, 31 to 17. And who threw that pass? The... Come on. Billy get... Kilmer in the 72 championship. No, but the Dexter Manley, Daryl Grant pass. That was not Danny White. It was Gary Hogaboom. Gary Hogaboom, right. Because Danny White's head had been planted into the turf. By Dexter. Dexter. Yes. Right. You're excited about this, aren't you? I'm you very love excited. It. You got your Redskin tie. <laughs> I know you You're love it. You ready to go? Holiday You're always admiring my clothing. I do, I do. You're a very sharp dressed man. All right. <laughs> Time is running out to get one of his great books for the holidays. Mike, do your thing. Thanks, Larry. Well, uh, the number of copies of, of the vault I have is down to single digits. So oh, I heard. Oh, wow. Single digits, right. I urge you to go to redskinshistorian.com, get the vault, and also the Redskins Encyclopedia.